This is Eric Moavith, Moavith.com. Let's take a look at Grubhub and we're going to use its all data monthly chart to bring across a point. The point is month to month, it always makes sense. We watch the RSI level, as I always say, because what happens is if you don't account for where the RSI is trading, and here we can see end of trading for January 2019. Now, what does this mean? It means a couple of things. Either you can get a scenario where we have a nice bounce back above RSI 50, which is exactly what the bulls would want to see because that would indicate prices moving to the upside. It would be similar, let's say, visually to this period here where we have what looks like a strong move to the downside, but the market would quickly recover. What it took was the support around RSI 50. Now, there's the other side of this, which is because you are trading close to 50, any slippage, any type of a move below 50, and you get a big down month. So it's always important to watch the RSI levels month to month, in my opinion, which is something I do for subscribers. Take a look here now. We're looking. Take a look here now into February. This is the sixth trading day of February. And you can see everything looks to be coiling to the upside. Stock is responding nicely. But remember, we had closed the previous month at 50.63. So there's always that uncertainty with any type of slippage. In other words, what one can do is if you see the stock struggling, let's say on the smaller time frames, you see resistance, let's say on the daily or on the weekly, then you can start being aware that any break, let's say of this recent monthly closing low, in this case from December 2018, the price being at 76.81, you know that a break of this level, and you can use this as your alert, any movement below this price suggests that there is a possibility of violating the RSI 50 support. Movement below 50 guarantees a big down month, potentially closing at the lows of the month, net, net. Now, of course, I know what has happened here overnight. And we can see the stock is down now. This is now the following day. And see what I was trying to say. Now the RSI is below 50. We've also broken below the 76.81 level. And we can see the result of that is as expected. Understanding where the RSI is trading gives you an idea of the potential magnitude lower. It's just not that it's breaking to fresh monthly lows, but Understanding where the RSI is trading helps you understand the magnitude and the velocity and the speed of the move. And this is a phenomena which I call RSI 50 crossing. There should be a link in the description of the video giving you an intro into this method. Eric Moore with mother.com as always. Good.